Simba, oi. What should we order from Pizza Hut? Hey, welcome to another video. Oh, hello everybody. I just Welcome back. Hair. We just came back from a run, took a shower, and uh, it's kind of late, so we decided that we wanted some, ow, ooh, we wanted some pizza. <laughs> we wanted to try out Pizza Hut in uh, Korea and try out some of the, is it new, are we trying out some new flavors or different flavors or unique flavors or what are we doing? Uh, yeah, so I'm looking at it right now. So we're gonna try out all the latest. Um, some of the new ones are really interesting. They have got like God Chicken. The name is called God Chicken. Really? But it depends if they have it on delivery or not. Maybe not. And they have potato pizza. And then they have pok pok cheese. Maybe it's like a really cheesy one. The really uh, popular one is actually this one. Garlic butter shrimp. Okay, let's get that one. Yeah, let's get that one. Or is and there one anything more? else you want? Yeah, we should try out other stuff. Let's get stuff. Two, two mediums. Yeah, okay. Do you want to try steak? Steak? Mm hmm Sure. Okay, let's get the steak one and the shrimp. The okay. garlic butter shrimp. And typically in, in Korea, you can always order via like a mobile app or is that just online or pizzahut.com? Nowadays, everyone do it uh, via mobile app because it's a lot more easier to track. Because as soon as you make your order, um, they will update you like how long it's gonna take. And usually it's very accurate. So it's basically like Uber Eats, but they have a different type of brands. Mm. Like franchise, any like nearest restaurants nearby, so. Okay, so let's order it. It usually takes around like what, 30? 40, 30 minutes. Okay, so, so let's order it right now and we'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, bye. <laughs> Timo was barking too. Oh, uh, Timo was barking. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay, anyway, so we have, um... Let me introduce? Yes, go ahead. Yeah, so we ordered a garlic butter shrimp pizza. It's on this side. And then this one is a T-bone steak pizza. Oh, it's T-bone steak? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. I thought it was really interesting. And both of them are new. So we thought, why not try it out? Nice, nice. Can we get some Pepsi beer? Yes. So, of course, we have our Pepsi in our... And our mugs. very girly mugs. <laughs> because Sunny doesn't really have many cups. She likes mugs. Oh my god, I am so excited. Okay, you gonna take that one first? Let's eat this one first. Okay, hey, let's eat this one together and then just uh, let our okay. subscribers know, our viewers okay, know. Okay, let's close this one first though so it's not get so cold then. Oh, okay, okay. So basically we got some garlic, garlic chips in here. We have shrimp, peppers, broccoli, and cheese. I think we got everything. Is that what pineapple? Is that? What oh, is and this? pineapple. Wait, I said pineapple. pineapple? Yes, pineapple. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's try it out. Oh my god. Oh. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna really like it since I love garlic. Come by. Come by. Pizza, come by. Oh. Oh yeah. It's really rich, huh? I added extra cheese though. All right. I paid um extra one dollar for extra cheese. What was the total? We got two medium-sized pizzas. What's the total? Forty-eight dollars. Wow, that's is expensive, it huh? Is it cheap? How much is it in America typically? Not sure, haven't been oh, in a while. Oh, I hate pineapple. Already? Yeah. Oh, really? I would say for me, the shrimp is a little bit. Mm. I could do without the shrimp. Oh, really? I could do with more pineapple though. Really? I'm all about the shrimp. I guess that's why we're kind of different in that sense. If you love really like cheesy, with garlic butter and creamy kind of taste, you guys will enjoy this one. I personally love the creamy based uh, pizza more than tomato based one. I like the tomato mm. based. I'm a tomato man, I like tomatoes in all my stuff. When it comes to pasta as well, she likes the creamy stuff. I like the tomato -y stuff. So let's put this way, because I don't want to be like full when I eat the other one. Okay. So while we are still somewhat have room in our stomach. So oh. this one, I guess she said is T-bone steak. We've got cheddar cheese, it looks like. It looks like. Peppers, onions, mm. onions and that's it. Oh, and mushroom? I think it's a mushroom right there. Anyways, okay. I think, I think I'm gonna like this one more, actually. I wanna get this one nice, nice, nice and a lot of steak. Okay, mister? Yes, Cheers. pizza come pie. Mm. Mm, it's all right. This is more my style. Wait, I haven't, I haven't got into the steak. 
I can see why you like this. A lot of texture. There's beef involved, and you typically don't really like shrimp, right? No, like on pizza, I'm not much of a seafood seafood kind of guy. My favorite, all-time favorite pizza is pepperoni and Hawaiian onion. pizza. Yeah, the Hawaiian pizza. Pepperoni, pineapple, and onion mm. is my all-time favorite. If I have to like get like only one pizza ever in my life though, from one store only, it'd be from Costco. Oh yeah, Costco pizza is bomb. I think Costco pizza is the best pizza I can ever. I don't know. I don't. It's so weird, isn't it? That Costco's the best pizza. We should go to Costco together, yo. I feel like those are gonna be really fun video together. Mm. What do you guys think? Oh, is there Costco in Korea? It is. Oh, we there have. is. Oh. If you like the creamy seafood with a little bit of hint of sweetness, then you would really like this one. It's not bad. It's really pretty good. And if you guys like something more hearty, I would say, and you like steak, obviously, then this one's really good. Mm. This one's pretty normal, to be honest. Mm. It it tastes almost like us, like the Supreme. It almost like like the Supreme, right? All all the only difference here is it doesn't have any pepperonis, but instead has steak and doesn't have any sausages. But the steak kind of makes up for the sausage part. This one, the more you eat it, you you get sick of it really easily because it's so creamy. <laughs> no, it's actually very thick and creamy. So if you guys don't like eating a lot of the creamy texture, very cheesy. And a lot of like shrimp and garlic, pineapple, a mixture of that. You guys will not enjoy this. In the beginning, I actually really like it. But then if I have to take three slices of this, I think uh, I'm gonna get sick. Oh, this one, this one? I really like that one. It's really it's really easy to get to mm. eat. I, I usually call it universal flavor. Mm. A lot of people will like mm. instantly because it's very approachable kind of taste uh, compared to this one. Well, this one's more like like what you would imagine like a, a pizza with many toppings. What's interesting though, this one as well, there's no tomato sauce, is there? It's like a layer of white cheese, isn't it? Your, that one too doesn't have any tomato sauce, huh? No, if there's one thing I can ask God to eliminate in this world would be pineapple. I'm sorry for all pineapple lovers, I'm so sorry, but like... I'm truly offended. I really hate pineapple. I don't like, I don't understand why it tastes good. I have all the pizza chains, which one do you like the best? Oh. That's hard, but I always, I've always been a big fan of Hey, <laughs> Pizza in Indonesia, you're watching this? Call me <laughs> No, I'm dead serious, I have always been a Pizza Hut fan I remember I used to ask my mom to have my birthday party at Pizza Hut Oh, really? <laughs> yeah Seriously? Because the cool kids cool Eat kids, Pizza Hut? No, cool kids in my school, they invite like uh, their friends You know, back in like elementary school they invite their friends to Pizza Hut to all eat together. They, they'll like reserve like a long table and invite their friends and like bring gifts and in things Bali? like that. Yeah, yeah. So when I was little, I've always wanted to have my birthday in Pizza Hut. It just never happened. Uh, maybe it could happen in the future. But like, I mean, when I was little, I've always wanted it. So growing up, I love Pizza Hut. And every time they have a new menus, I've always wanted to try it out. Mm. And they're always very creative with like their menus. And also the side uh, bread right here. What do you call it? The sides? The crust. The crust. It, like when they came out with sausage inside with cheese, that blew my mind. I was like... So yeah, I love Pizza Hut. I actually love Pizza Hut more than Domino's because Pizza Hut has really good pasta as well, in my opinion. And the chicken wings are always good. You want the last one? Yeah, I'll get that one. I'm kind of stuffed, actually. You know why? Because you eat so fast. <laughs> Chris would eat. He won't talk. He would just like... <gasps> it's like that. And then next thing you know, oh, I'm full. And you don't see anything. Thank God he left me one. <laughs> of course I'm going to leave you one, right? Because you're the sweetest guy ever. I'm a gentleman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Back in America, I wouldn't really get like the chain ones. We get, mm. we get like some kind of like Restaurant. local local pizza shop. When I was in college, I used to always get Papa John's. But the reason we always get we'd always get Papa John's is because they had like a really interesting college special, for like one extra large pizza for only ten dollars. Ext extra okay. large uh, in in my college in America. Oh what? Um, I think it was a, a, like a special deal for college kids. I think. But anyways, yeah, that's why like in Papa John's in college, simply because it was convenient and cheap. Ah. And then in Japan. I'd always get Domino's because actually Pizza Hut's not there's not that many Pizza Huts in Japan in Tokyo. Oh really? There's a lot more Domino's. And then also Domino's always offers a, a deal in Japan where basically if you come and pick up the pizza, mm -hmm. it's buy one get one free. Mm. I think it's of any size, I believe. So typically what I would do is I get one large pizza 
and I typically can finish maybe three quarters of the large, and then I get and then I get one for free, so I can have like leftover for dinner, tomorrow. and then leftover <laughs> for lunch and dinner the next day. Oh my gosh! For only like twenty five dollars. And two larges, yeah. That's why right, this pizza, I think Pizza Hut's kind of expensive, isn't it? I think the most expensive large with like a lot of toppings would be like 30 bucks, I think. But, to, but because they do the buy one, get one free, it's 15, I mean, yeah, it's like $15 per pizza, right? So basically, this is a lot more expensive. I think Pizza Hut's pretty expensive mm. compared to the other brands. Mm. I, weirdly enough, I haven't seen many Domino's in, in Korea though. I don't see that many Domino's around. Mm, you don't see them around because they're all for like delivery. Mm -mm. Mm. Oh, so it's like a small small mm. shop. As for as for Pizza Hut, there's so many restaurants like Pizza restaurants. So they're bigger and you can see them mm. more clearly. But yeah, if you guys um, want to try these interesting pizzas out in Korea, I highly recommend doing the steak one, the T-bone steak, the shrimp one. If you have like three friends over, and you can yeah. just have one slice, mm -hmm. it's it's sort of one of, it's one of those one slice kind of pizzas. That is true. That is true. <laughs> it's really nice to have as your as your first bite, but after that, it just gets never worse again. and worse. Mm -hmm. Well, that's that's typically like creamy stuff. That's why tomato sauce never gets old. Really? I can just eat. I eat tomatoes after tomatoes. Yeah, I love my tomatoes. Hashtag Chris loves tomatoes. <laughs> I'm just really passed out behind us. By the way, can you see him? <laughs> it's really nice, by the way, having a pizza right after a run, though. It feels real. I feel kind of guilty, though. Yeah, it's not really helping. I feel a little bit guilty, diet, but uh, yeah. We did this for you guys. Mm -hmm. So please leave a like on the video. Are you done eating, by the way? It's in the video here. Yeah. Okay. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe if you guys like uh, more of these mukbangs. We actually want to do like a lot more of these more like global chains and how they are different here in Korea. So if you guys have any requests, please leave a comment down below. Please check out Sunny Dahe's channel, which will be linked down below. Please check out Gamjan Simba's YouTube channel on Instagram. This little sleepy head over here. They'll also be linked down below. Yeah. And if you are not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe if you guys like the video. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.